polyester thread. It has a polyester core, so it's stretchy, too. Because metallic thread is thinner than rayon or polyester, it should be used in small areas or with designs that are digitized specifically for metallic thread. If you use metallic thread in a design that has large areas filled with stitches, and the design isn't digitized for metallic thread, you'll likely see sparse areas or ragged coverage. For this example, we're going to embroider a freestanding lace snowflake all in metallic thread. To begin, we'll hoop a piece of heavyweight water-soluble stabilizer. Because the lace is two-sided, we're going to wind a bobbin with the metallic thread, too. One easy way to avoid thread breaks when working with metallic thread is to let the thread relax before it goes through the take-up lever and the tension discs. Just drop the spool in a cup next to your machine and let the thread feed that way. This technique works best with the smaller spools. Larger spools and cones might be too heavy. Some needles are specifically designed to be used with metallic thread. They have larger eyes to prevent fraying and breaking. We're going to run the machine at a slightly slower speed. Generally, we run it pretty fast at about 600 stitches per minute. But metallic thread is kind of sensitive to friction, so we want to ease that a little bit. We're running the machine at about 400 stitches per minute. And 20,000 stitches later, we have a beautiful glittering snowflake and not one thread break. If you're doing all of the above and still getting thread breaks, then try loosening your bobbin tension just a tiny bit. A small turn to the left will loosen it. A small turn to the right will tighten it. You can even mark the starting point with a pen or a bit of nail polish so that you can change the tension back after you've finished using the metallic thread. Because metallic thread is thinner than rayon or polyester, you might need to adjust your top thread tension too. Make it a little tighter to accommodate the thinner thread. If you're working on a piece with metallic thread and notice that the thread is looping, that's an indication that either the top or the bobbin thread is a little loose. You'll have to experiment and tighten one or the other just a tick until the looping goes